Welcome back, everyone. Oh, it's got a little shock. Oh God. You got a stick on. Thank <laughs> you. 
That does not sound like Kajiwara. You're a bigger fool than I thought. Jin, a word please. Masako, what's wrong? A man named Kajiwara recruited the men who killed my family. His name is on the list. He lives in this prefecture. That, that monk, monk knows, knows where, where, but he, but he won't, won't tell me. Junshin means well. I'll talk, talk to him. Junshin, it's good to see you. And you, Otsukai. Lady Masako and I are looking for Kajiwara. You know where he is. She accused him of terrible things. I fear for his life if she finds it. Masako has good reason to believe he recruited the men who killed her family. Hmm. He would never do that. He is a humble fisherman, a loving husband and father. I think she is blinded by rage. Jushin. I need to talk to him. As long as it is just talking. Take the road from here to the coast. Kajiwara's hut is on the beach. But that's where. I swear to god, that sounds like... George Decay! Well, we'll take the road to the coast. Dude, it! I'm going to die! Peace out, later world. Smell my ass. Thank you for your help, monk. Peace be with you, Lady Masako. I can't imagine what you said to Junshin that I didn't. He doesn't even try to hear me. It's like talking to I just talked. Talk. I think he's afraid of you. Afraid? Why? You can be intimidating. In our world, that is not a bad thing. We're hunting a cruel and vicious man. He was a retainer for our clan. 
dependable and skilled, but quick to anger. We excused his behavior until the day I caught him beating his wife and daughter. The coward, hurting his own family. I dismissed him immediately. I offered his wife and daughter refuge in our house. Within a day, they'd gone back to him. It's not always easy, especially when you think they'll change. This path should take us to the beach. We'll leave the horses to avoid being seen. We should approach with caution. I don't want to put Kajiwara's family at risk. That must be Kajiwara's fishing hut. The Mongols found it. They may have already killed him and his family. There's a chance they're still alive. Let's go. my butt. This must be Kajiwara's wife and daughter. Uh, I've always feared this would be their fate. Maybe the Mongols killed them? Then where is Kajiwara's body? Musical. Footprints. Leading away from the hut. What if Kajiwara survived? Ran like a coward. Of cloth. Not cloth. Silk. More than a humble fisherman could afford. Let's follow the footprints. Kajiwara! Lady Masako! The Mongols attacked! My wife and daughter! Quiet, snake! We know you killed them. Out of love. Better me than the Mongols. It's what they wanted. You sick kid! You recruited the assassins who killed my family! Who hired you? Tell me and I will end you lovingly. Like you did your wife and daughter. All I know is, he understood. Understood what? How it feels to be ruined by you. How I was driven to poverty. The toll it took on my family. How I couldn't stand to hear another word. Everything you said was a lie. Except about being ruined by me. I know Sadao felt the same way. The conspirators are bonded by hate. 
The attack on your client was personal. Organized by a rival samurai with a deep grudge. But I can't think of who. You'll find him. That's my kage. Oh shit, they're watching what's what I'm Hollywood. Cheers. Cause fuck those hippies. I love once upon a time in Hollywood, it's my favorite movie of all time. It's a movie I can watch. It's a comfort movie. And I can't say that a lot about Quentin Tarantino's movies. I think it's because it's the setting. I love that 1960s era in Hollywood with the music and the movies and that backdrop of it. You know what's, hap what's happening with those fucking mains and shit. But you just don't care. You're lost in that feel of it. What was that about? Lady Masako is looking for someone. She is angry. I couldn't help. Like you helped with Kajiwara the fisherman? Did you ever find him? Yes. After he killed his wife and daughter. How could I be so fool? I truly do not know who she's after. You have nothing to fear. I'll speak with her. Thank you, Lord Sakai. And also for ridding this farmstead of Mongols. Now we can rebuild. These people are lucky to have you. Be well. Fucking love that scene where all the hippies get fucking brutally murdered. Cliff just beating the shit out of them. With the, get, she's, she just gets stabbed and the one thing's... I was in the movie theater with that scene started part line. Everyone in the theater was like, yes! Yes! I need to handle it myself. The farmer said they left with armed men. Mercenaries. Professional killers. I may be an assassin. I can use your help, but I need your discretion. You can count on it. The farmers said they went toward the bridge outside the farmstead. It's this way. And then, top it all off, Rick Dalton just, like, he's in his pool just jamming out. And then one of them jumps to the window, jumps in his pool. And he just grabs a fucking flamethrower. Burns one of those fuckers alive. This is cinema. Who is this thief? Sin. The clan Adachi's estate after the attack. Stole valuable heirlooms, personal items. Saying hippies get brutally murdered in a movie. God bless you, Tarantino. We wanted to have her flogged. I did what I could for her, but she had to go. It almost sounds like you miss her. She was a dear friend. Her betrayal stings more than the others. There she is. With the mercenaries. Let's move in. Quietly.
Any encouragement? I'm just waiting for the right time. Too late. He'll sell those Like Cliff just beating the shit out of them. Like Harris in the room and on the phone. I have his comb. It's gold. With pearl in there. That was a gift. It might fetch a fair price. No. We'd have our heads. Enough of this. Take us to the enemies. We don't need the mercenaries alive for questioning. Just her. The more of them we eliminate, the easier it will be to recover what's yours. Just don't be seen, or they might hurt her. Careful. He'll be in the open. Find cover. Too close. Hold on, I Damn it. Oh! <laughs> 
I need to speak with Maya. I'm here if you need me. You stole my family's heirlooms for those murderers. How could you betray me? I didn't. You betrayed me. Turn me away. I saved you. My husband wanted you flogged. He knew. Then you should have left with me. I was the lady of Clan Adachi. And you were a thief. He still loved you? Then tell me who you serve. He killed my family. And he'll kill me. I won't let him touch you. Oh, oh love. We know the man you work for is a samurai. I don't know his name. I never saw his face. He communicated only through notes. He knew about us, my lady. How? I don't know. He said. And that's the end of the movie. He knew what it was like to love you. That he understood my pain. Muscles. My was my only. Has been the only. He was anxious about the arrows. Concerned they get broken. He's eager to sell them. Their value is purely sentimental. He won't get the money he seeks. Then perhaps he has no intention of selling. It's possible they're personal to him too. He was possessive in his notes. Spoke as if they were his. The heirlooms belong to no one but my family. I am the only one who remains. Your heirlooms are in the brush. Jin, will you gather them? I need to say goodbye. She's gone, gone home. home. Jean, I, I want, want you to know, know I'm not... You don't you owe me an explanation. I, I cared, cared for, for my, my husband. husband. But I cared yeah. for mine, too. You still do. I think I always will. The man we hunt has feelings for you. Other than my husband and mine, I've had no romances, no admirers. He could have been lying, feigning sympathy to gather recruits. I just don't know who would do that. You'll keep searching. It's only a matter of time. When that time comes, we'll make him pay.
Speak, monk! Please stop! Where is Junchi? Masako, what are you doing? Helping this monk fight his tongue. My lord! Help! Masako, let me handle this. Fine. But if you can't make him talk, I will. I thought she was going to kill me. No harm will come to you. What do you know about Junshin? Junshin was helping survivors at Red Leaf Temple. But I hear the Mongols raided it, and he's in danger. We will find him. What do you want with Junshin? He conspired to kill my family. He's been saving refugees. And his name was not the list we found. Someone left him a note at the temple. It's identical to the ones the conspirators carried. Junshin was promised supplies for his relief camps. In return, he wished to provide information on my whereabouts. It's just an offer. This proves nothing. It proves he had contact with the person who killed my family. We will get to the bottom of this, by talking to Junshin. You have my word. He was last seen at Redleaf Temple. Let's go. Wait for me. Keep up. There's my horse! <laughs> when we find the monk, let me deal with him. Remember, we agreed to talk to him. The men who killed my family talked with their swords. Masako, you will not kill Junshin until we're certain of his guilt. Your father was murdered. Did you talk with his killer? Lord Shimura tracked him down and collected his head. You've had your vengeance, Jin. Don't stand in the way of mine. Now uh, that kind of retcons with the DLC. Bangos. Let's go. I hate this charger. I like the old one. It didn't like if you used your phone and your phone got hot. Enough. Find Junshin. This way. Maybe it's a hot pocket. Either. The temple is close. And so is the monk. Right. No, 
They strike quietly. Or they might kill the monk. I'll take one. You take the other. Masako! Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Run! If we fight, Mongols win. They already won. Oh no. Friend. Give me the monk. No. You are defending a murderer. We agreed to talk to him. Talking never works. You promised me. My promise is to my family. They are the enemy. Give me your word. When I looked at Junji, all I saw were my dead grandchildren. Their faces after being cut down. And you were protecting them. So you tried to kill me? Have you lost your mind? I have lost everything! No, you've sacrificed everything. For revenge. And what do you feel when you think of Juzo?
Yet, yet anger consumes us. Or blind us to our friends. You still trust me? Jinshin should get far. We can track him down. Masako. Don't ever try to kill me again. I won't. I promise. Look for his tracks. Jinshin went this way. Looks like he ran into the woods. When we find Jinshin, perhaps I should speak with him first. So you don't It doesn't matter. Jinshin won't. And we need him to talk. But remember, Jin, he only needs his tongue to talk. supplies in exchange for information about Masako. She called herself Lady Hana. Liar! Masako, wait. Who is Lady Hana? My sister. She was massacred with the rest of my family. She visited me two nights ago. Wore a crimson kimono with a golden sash. I remember. She smelled of chrysanthemum. No. No. I never told her anything about you. I swear, I swear it. it. Leave us. <laughs> My sister's alive. She murdered the children. Why would she want to destroy your clan? I don't know. But I am going to find her. You don't have to do it alone. Meet me in Kamiyagata. Man, we're finishing people's up story on such silence because they're just like, ah, hey, he's doing it all. Wrap it up. So you focus on main shit. Now I just did do his stuff. My new creation is perfect for you.
I need more to achieve the perfect shade. Good. I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm in the mood for Funyuns for some reason. You ever had that feeling like you're in the mood for some stupid shit? And you're just like, training camps is around here. And you're like, why? Like, it's weird. It's like, I hate onions, but I love onion rings and Funyuns. I think it's made as onions by itself. Ah, I hate. The ghost! Don't kill me! What's going on? I'm not gonna kill you. Take whatever you want. I'm not a thief. Everyone knows you're attacking caravans. The ghost and the demon sensei. Sensei Ishikawa? That's a lie. I've heard you myself. Heard us? When? Not long ago. Tearing up the road like starving wolves. Highway robbery. Head north. Find out who's responsible. Nah, I just threw him higher. She just threw me higher. Sorry about that, but I see one in the room. I'm watching it in here. So now I gotta turn the TV where she can see it. I don't mind. Nah, she likes to watch it. Sounds like trouble. <laughs> You're welcome, Sensei. You're the ghost. What happened here? His caravan is ambushed. Lots of attacks lately. People say you're stealing supplies. Or sided with the Mongols. 
Rest easy. I'll discuss this with Lord Sakai. Tomoe is behind this. She sows paranoia and fear. Attacking caravans, blaming us. I called off to his group too late. Saved him, but not the others. Where was he ambushed? Close. Why? Find the ambush site. Track the rest of Tomoe's group to their camp. That makes sense. What's wrong? Nothing. She has me off balance. We'll put an end to that. Rest here. Eat the food I gave you, and wait a while before you leave. Thank you, Sensei. Show me where he was ambushed. How did you find me? Someone heard a convoy being chased. People avoid the roads because of Tomoe. When I caught wind of a merchant chancing a supply run, I followed. Why would Tomoe attack supply runs in Kushi Prefecture? There's no strategic importance. No. But Kushidera Temple inspires people. Could be a Mongol effort to break morale here. You don't sound convinced. I think that's part of it. Not all. Tomoe betrayed everything I taught her. Then she betrayed me. And after me, her home. And I'll hunt her past the horizon if I must. Let's go. Okay. There's the convoy. And more victims of Tomoe. Let's see what we can learn. Down the road, and we'll find them. Of course. It's a warning to the people of Kushi. From Tomoe. From Lord Sakai and Sensei Ishikawa. No travel is permitted on these roads, on pain of death. Crude. But effective. This is the last time Tomoe and her men will ambush anyone with Kushi Prefecture. Come. Hurry! Run the down! This mouth here. No time, time to scout the camp. camp. Now he's no, rushing in with his Hakama half tied. Why is she here alone? I'll cut her loose. Over here. You'll be free soon. Oh, sure. no, please, no. We're here to help. She said. She said. Tomoe, what did she say? She said I could live until the samurai came. No, on the ledge. Okay. 
Tomoe set a trap for us, and we walked right into it. I spoke with her two days ago. Tomoe? The captive. Heard her talking about a Japanese woman she saw with the Mongols. I asked her to find out where they were camped and report back. You did what? It could have gone the other way. We'd be standing over Tomoe's body instead. You talk about what it means to be a warrior. How Tomoe undermines that. But you and she are the same. You expect us to be perfect. Your uncle, me, Masako Adachi. But only a child expects perfection of his elders. Finish your thought, Sensei. We all carry weapons. We all choose between life and death. And you're too comfortable with that power. And if I weren't, I would be dead. And so would you, ghost. Not everyone can be a samurai. But we're all killers. We still have a camp in Otsuna to deal with. No, I'm gonna go for a smoke. I'll be back soon.